Oi pessoal, eu sou a Fernanda Aranha e hoje eu tô aqui para uma entrevista exclusiva com a cantora Gabriele Alpin. So hi, it's so nice to meet you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. So my first question is, you've been on the road for a decade now and you've matured in front of the public. Do you believe in any change in your music style because of growing up? Um, yeah, definitely. I think more more than anything, I just like to just make what I like. So I just, I don't try and sound a certain way or try and change things up. But I think um, I would just get bored doing the same thing over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. And I'm always influenced by different things, by different things at different times. So um, mm -hmm. I, I really like how they kind of, how all of my releases, a lot of my albums all kind of timeline and they can come a little story and they all kind of wind and go off a different direction sometimes. Um, but it's always so fun because I don't know what I do next. Mm -hmm. um, so it always feels quite exciting to discover that just from kind of being creative, I suppose. Nice, nice. So still talking about that time dynamic, if you could give any advice to your younger self in the beginning of your career, what would you say and why? Um, I would say to just chill out and enjoy it. Like, mm -hmm. I think I, because everything was so new, I was traveling a lot at the time when I first started doing this, you know, and um, I hadn't traveled before in my life and everything just suddenly seemed really big. And um, and now I realize it's not really that deep and I could have just enjoyed it, you know. So, um, yeah, I wish I just kind of was a little bit more easygoing with everything. You used to be nervous in the beginning. or no? Yeah, very much. So. Yeah, I especially. <laughs> I still get really nervous now, but like, different ways is uh, more like how because I've done so many things so much mm -hmm. now and so often that I now know the, the good things and the more negative things but at the time is everything was new so I couldn't plan in, uh, and picture things in my head I like to picture things and I couldn't picture anything mm -hmm. because it was every day but pretty much was doing something for the first time mm -hmm. um yeah that that and you know now I've got used to it and that feeling of just like no routine mm -hmm. um but I did struggle with that when I I was younger, definitely. Yeah, I think it's a normal thing in life. Like everything is new is scared. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then like they don't actually. I know now in hindsight it's not scary, but um, you know, you never know that at the time. Yeah, true. So before talking about your most recent song, as a Brazilian, I need to ask about home. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as you know, this song was part of a track list of a soap opera, which is a very popular thing in Brazil. It's like It's really huge, and I know you shot scenes from the production, so I want to know more about it. How was the experience? You enjoy it? How was the, oh, the Brazilian it, people? It was, Do you like it? Uh, Brazilian people, the best. <laughs> so friendly and warm. I felt so welcome. Um, I had an amazing time. So it was actually just so surreal. Like I, I'd never done anything like that before and it was like oh I'm doing this okay and went to the GoGo studios and like that was just like I couldn't it was just I could it was so surreal I couldn't take things in with my eyes like I'd never <laughs> seen that before um and yeah I met some of the cast and like I even just to see how they made it and how they make the episodes and stuff I just thought was so cool but even just it was just a mad experience that the song connected in such a way like it was just a song I wrote in my bedroom ages ago like um and it's just I don't know I've always wanted to come to Brazil I because I started online I I have fans from around the world and people for ages have been like please come to Brazil and I've never had a reason to go and like because it's, it's just so far and I didn't need to get there um and that doing this brought me there as well so mm -hmm. it was really nice to finally be able to like meet fans mm -hmm. that have been watching me on the internet for years you know and mm -hmm. I just see them in real life How old were you back then? When I released Home? Or when I wrote it? Oh, oh I um I was 18 when I wrote it. Oh my god. A kid. I know, it's so mad. I'm 30 That's insane. now. That's insane. I know, and it's amazing though how something can just connect years later as yeah. well. It's uh, like it's, yeah. it's everyone knows that song here. It's really beautiful. Really I love uh, it. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's just yeah. So, <laughs> oh, have you ever made a concert here in Brazil? Um, I played one show in Sao Paulo. Um, and when I tell you that, I've never, I, it was my first time in Brazil. 
So I, I had no idea what to expect. I'd never played the Brazilian crowd before, but literally more than anywhere I've ever been, people sang everything. And like, I'm singing in English and people, you know, who that's not their first language and they're singing mm-hmm. my songs like so loud. And I'm like, I just didn't expect it. Mm-hmm. And like, so loud that I couldn't even hear myself. If I could have just stood there and let people sing for me. It was unbelievable. And then I got to stay behind um, and meet people at the end. Nice. And just It was just so nice to finally like, mm-hmm. the faces to name as well. It was really, really lovely. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love it. I was going to say that Brazilian audience is like the most passionate, intense of whole world. We, we love eye to eye. It's, it's something really I love it. important for us. Oh, it's amazing. And it means so much as well. It's just mm-hmm. so, um, I don't know, I feel like it's a real like exchange of energy in mm-hmm. some way, where, especially when you're playing to, you know, yeah. to an audience. So, yeah. oh, it's amazing. A great experience. I'm really nervous, but now really? for whenever I come back, I um, I just know not to be nervous in a way because <laughs> I just like, I just trust that everyone's going to be so nice. So mm-hmm. like, yeah. Nice. Great. Really nice. And now talking about Good Enough, that I am so excited to hear, and I believe all your fans are too. Um, I want to know what's the story behind this single. There's anything I need to know? Yeah, it's just about wanting to be a really, really good person for all the people who are really nice to you. Um, <laughs> I wrote all of these songs on the album as well, like at a time when like we were all completely isolated and it was a really scary time. And like um, there was just like, loads of examples of like human resilience and kindness and I just wanted to write about like how you live up to that like beyond the pandemic almost as well and just mm-hmm. be a good person to all the good people um mm-hmm. that's basically it as simple as can be I just wanted to write a really simple song about being nice basically mm-hmm. yeah I was going to ask that about the whole album it's all about about that that is the background of it all I think so I mean it's very It was more that I had, at this point, I'd done anything I could possibly do. I was just like, okay, what is there left? I, I wasn't really writing and no one told me to go and write an album. It just got to the point where I'd done everything that I could possibly do in lockdown that I was thinking, oh, well, I'll just write some songs just for purely for creativity, nothing else. No one had told me to write an album. No one had said, oh, let's, we need some songs. I just did it completely on my own. So no one was aware. It was just completely me. And they were just expressions of where I was at that time and what I was thinking of. And it wasn't like I was really like sitting there coming up with concepts and like doing it like a writing session. I was just writing. Um, so yeah, I guess they kind of are definitely influenced by that time because that's, you know, where we were at that time. But it was more just like what the things that were popping into my mind at that time and me just kind of spewing them out as I was writing. And then when it came to, um, being asked to maybe do an album, I was like, oh, well, I've got loads of songs and this will be a really, um, really real and honest process. Mm-hmm. That's really beautiful to hear. Really. Uh, really, really beautiful. So okay, now uh, a question that could be harder. Oh, no, I don't know. From the songs you already <laughs> released from this new era, which one is your favorite? Do you had one? or so The favorite of... From the, so the album. <laughs> Oh, of all my albums? Yeah, the ones you already oh. put on. Okay, so not so excluding my new one, I think English Rain is probably my favorite. Um, just because I feel like releasing that album was such like a kind of moment for me. I felt like I was like, you know, planting a tree or mm-hmm. something. And I was like, I'm here and this is what I'm doing now. Um, I really feel like that album solidified me um and you know it so much has kind of branched out from me just doing that and again like they were just songs I wrote it was my first album so they weren't songs that were written with any kind of knowledge of what could possibly happen it was songs that were coming from a time where I wasn't writing because it was my job I was just writing because it was fun and just something I would do so I felt like they're all just really honest it was the easiest album Mm-hmm. But now I am curious, why excluding the new one? That one is your favorite, or no? Oh no, I mean like that is my favorite. But if like uh. it, apart from that, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Now I'm more curious to hear more than I used to be before. 
<laughs> so I've read that recently you recorded a song for the movie The Amazing Maurice. It was the first yeah. time you did something like that? Yeah, and it was a dream of mine to do something like that. Like, kind of like what happened with Home. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's Tocamente de Mai. Is that how I say that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, I've learned um, like how music and TV or music and film can go together and really enhance each other and just kind of fit so perfectly. I really wanted to do that with a movie. Mm -hmm. um, and I love Terry Pratchett and those stories. So it was just I, when I was offered the opportunity, I was like, yeah. And I, I got to watch it and go through the script and just write some songs. Mm -hmm. It was it was really wonderful. I'm working with the composer as well. He put all the orchestras on it, um, and it was just amazing. Cool. Just also, just a really nice nice to do a project as well. That was something a bit different, you know. Like it had to be friendly for kids, and like mm -hmm. it was about this cartoon cat who could talk and mm -hmm. learn rap. Like it's it, a different it public, evolved. right? That you're used to. Yeah, or not. yeah, definitely different. It felt more like everything. There had to be an emphasis on everything, still feeling fun, but making sure it was so sweet. Everything had to be quite sweet. Mm -hmm. And like at a time where I was doing quite a organic album mm -hmm. at the moment. So like they don't go together, but I love that I had the both to work on. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a really beautiful film, actually. I love it. It's just literally about being yourself nice. and nice. writing your difference. And Now I loved it. So, yeah. I'm curious about the movie. I will be waiting. Oh, it's so good. It's based on um, a Terry Pratchett book as well. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just mad. It's like fairy tales, but nice. really mad versions of, like, classic fairy tales. Mm -hmm. um, cool. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so that one was my last question. Thanks a lot for your time. I love our conversation. I'm more oh, anxious than too. ever Thanks. for the music. Really. Uh -huh. So I'll be waiting. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Thanks you a so lot for your for time. Thank you. Thanks. So nice Thanks. to meet you. Bye. bye bye bom, essa foi nossa entrevista exclusiva com a cantora Gabriela Alpin, eu espero que vocês tenham gostado tanto quanto eu não se esqueçam de se inscrever no canal, curtir o vídeo e compartilhar nas redes sociais a gente se vê numa próxima, tchau tchau